Happening now, Chico school leaders are laying out a plan for testing students who are exposed to COVID-19. It's a push to keep schools open. Action News Now reporter Ryan Ketchum is live at that meeting. Ryan, any decision yet? Yes, and actually, as you can see behind me, parents are actually standing outside right now because Pleasant Valley High School Jazz Band actually had to practice inside and perform. But tonight, uh, the school district is going to be voting on whether or not they're going to extend their district-wide COVID uh, testing to students. They have not voted just yet, but they are going to be speaking very soon. I actually was able to speak, speak to a few parents to see how comfortable they would be and if they think it's a good decision for schools to be testing those students. Parents of children in the school district, regardless of vaccination beliefs, say more testing options would benefit families. I think if it's uh, that important to the school district to have them tested, that's fine. That really doesn't hurt anybody. Um, but as far as uh, vaccinating them, that's up to the parent. And uh, as far as them being quarantined to home, uh, that's again up to the school. Several parents told me they don't want their children staying home from school, but can't afford to leave work to get them tested. So this would benefit them tremendously. I spoke to school district superintendent Kelly Staley, who tells me the students options are to either get tested twice a week or to sit out and quarantine for 10 days. If they qualify for a modified quarantine, that means that they have to test. And um, while many of our students have been testing, we also recognize that there are some students that modify quarantine where they can come back to school might not be an option if uh, their parents don't have the ability to get them to a testing center. Parents out here are actually telling me that they cannot be inside while PV High Jazz Band is performing because some of them do not have masks on. At 6, I will update you on what they discuss in the meeting and also what they vote on. Reporting live at Marigold Elementary School, I'm Ryan Ketchum. Action News Now, coverage you can count on. The testing is for any student who has come in contact with a person who tested positive for COVID-19.